Hey, hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use any stock footage and then create something as cool as this, tracking video within video. And also, if you're always struggling to come up with something creative or you wanna do something new, well, here is something for you, an idea. Let's first look at how most people would actually do this. So they download a piece of footage from the uh, internet, anywhere they can find it, green screen effect. They wish to place a roadmap, maybe to their house, onto the phone. And most people probably would just do this, make the picture extra large, then apply the green screen effect to give you that illusion that it's really going whatever it is on your phone. like. So now I'm gonna bring the footage over the top. So it kind of looks okay, but there is a problem here. As the phone moves, the image stays still. So it's not selling the illusion. And even over here, if it moves too far, I'm getting these black borders. So I'm gonna teach you how you can do this and make it look more realistic. So did you like my uh, cheesy transition? <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? This is why uh, you should never really do it. Okay, so place your footage on the timeline. And what you want to do is do a simple motion track. So let's do that. So, okay. There's a couple of ways we can do it. I can show you very simply. You can use the four point tracker, which is actually ideal. So just in case you're wondering why these crosshairs are always on the green screen for your tracking points, that's why. So you can do that. Now, because this is only uh, one green screen and not much detail in the background, I'm just going to use the single track point because it's just so much easier. And I'm, I'm, I certainly don't want the mosaic effect. So I'm just going to place that right in the center, and then I'm just going to track it. 2,000 years later. Okay, now once it's done, don't do anything else. Don't press OK. What you're going to do, you're going to save this path. So you go over here and go Save to Path Library, and this is going to load that path into a custom library. So just click it. It'll ask you to do it. Yes. OK. Yeah. Wow. Accessible. There you go. And then just close this window. We're done with that. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring this one down. And then we're going to bring our footage in. And we're going to make sure that the footage is the same length as the footage underneath or the and the PNG or the photo, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, let's go back here. And what we're going to do is then green screen it, right? So double click, chroma key, grab your pointer on the green. There you go. So all we need to do now is make this file a little bit smaller. So let's just readjust that. Put it up here. Actually, what I'll do first, I'll just bring it over here so I got a better view. Now, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's not a big photo. So, all you want to do is create that illusion. Okay. So, let's bring that back up. We're pretty close. And now, right, all we need to do now is track the path. So, let's go back and find that path. So, let's go here into the motion paths, go into the customs, and here's your track one place that onto your PNG or your photo. And now what you'll do is have a perfect track. So now you create the illusion much better. There you go. Now in the preview, you noticed that I had it zoomed in and as it played, it zoomed out and it gave you quite a cool little effect. So all I did was I rendered these two pieces out, which then created a simple file like this. So if I press play now, you'll see exactly what I did. Now, and I've got it here, I can put it on the timeline. And basically what I did was I went to the FX and I looked for the zoom pan and zoom filter. And that's it, you guessed it. I just applied it to the timeline, double clicked it and then uh, and adjusted how I want it. So obviously I zoomed right in on this. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you, you're gonna get, you'll understand exactly what I did. And that, that's how I created the illusion. I just played around with this zoom and pan filter. So now we'll show you how I created the last effect. So footage on the timeline, I'm gonna go into track motion. The good news is I already did all the tracking for you, so you don't need to sit there and watch me do it again. However, there is a slight difference to this one. We need to then add in the matched object, and that's gonna put the place card holder up here, and then just press okay. All right, so now what we need to do is create the title or whatever it is, so 3D title it. And all I did was just made the question mark here and then I just added some color to it. So double, oop, double click one, click it once, red, 
and apply and then I just add the spin to it now this is totally up to you how you want to do that with the orientation but all I want to do right now is just increase the size of this question mark so it really pops press OK it's going to form it onto the title track I'm going to resize it to fit my project and here what this is differently now compared to the other one we're going to right click on here and we're going to copy all the attributes and then place it onto the title track by right clicking it and then pasting all the attributes now we no longer need this uh, placeholder so we can delete that from the uh, the project here is the little question mark let's see how good it looks yes it's tracking you can barely see it but that's okay what we're going to do now is go into the track motion or the match motion I keep getting those two confused go into your first keyframe and just resize it to whatever size you want that looks good to me right click on the first keyframe copy and paste to all right and then say okay now let's go there you go so looking pretty good now what I did to change the question mark to the word idea I just went along the timeline to see to the point the problem is I tracked on my eyeball what I should have tracked on my gigantic nose and then this would have been right in the center but anyway that's not important how big my nose is right so I'm right here I'm about to go wow great idea and what I did I went to the timeline pressed s to splice my footage and then I double click to relaunch the 3d title editor and then I just simply changed it to the word idea and again you could mess around with this and give it a different color let's do that let's just give it a different color because why not right that looks pretty yep that'll do press ok so basically what you're going to see it's going to say yeah what am i thinking about and all of a sudden pop i have an idea let's do it again pop i have an idea look how smooth that is and you can play with that too like make it fade in fade out bam there you go i've had enough of that there you go my friends and as always thanks for watching